Welcome back to another episode of Gundam The Witch from Mercury. The most important thing that happened last episode was a trial by combat. Another duel request to Daddy Delling. Anything here can be settled through duels, and these are your words. Miurin and challenges her dad to say, let's offer a duel. Why did this happen? Because they noticed, because like, okay, the mom sent Saleta here with Gundam, like, forbidden technology that we saw in episode one. This shit's banned. It's clearly Gundam, and they see that it's Gundam, so we're kind of already in prison, but there's a representative. I forgot the exact company name. Shin say something. They comes in and say, well, they're not actually Gundam. They're called, like, um, I think they just called it drones. We have all these technology that kind of seems like the band Gundam, but they're not Gundam. We have some stats and analytics here that shows that, hey, it's not specifically that, and they're like, I'm not buying your shit. And then Delling at the end is like, I don't care. I don't care. You're banned regardless. And then the duel happened for Miurine. Right now, the main ship, well, I don't know. I don't know if, that's, if it's much of a ship, but you saw the Yuri vibes from episode one of Miurine and Soleta, right? But there's another dude, right? There's a guy named, oh, I forgot, Eran, I think, that was super disinterested in everything until he saw the Gundam technology. And now, I. I mean, he fed her. I think he's just being nice. Maybe I'm looking too deep into things, but there seems to be a little bit of a divergence happening. Suleta's just confused as fuck. She doesn't know what she's doing here. Mom probably sent her here on a revenge plot, but I don't think she even knows anything about it. Which is gonna be kind of cruel when she finds out everything that she's being used as, but it's for the sake of... I don't know, a revenge plot for the Ost Earthians also. Spatians and Earthians. There's a space like supremacy going on. They're quite racist against the Earthians. Uh, I don't think everyone is like that, but it's clearly shown that they don't look too favorably on the Earthians. I hope that we can all just kind of settle everything with duels and just win and show that the Earthians are. No, then I'm being racist saying Earthian supremacy. Uh, how about we all just get along? How about we all just get along? But maybe we'll get to duel this episode. Let's watch. Go on, dates! <laughs> Miurin is gonna be like, all right, I'll take you on a date if we just win. <laughs> Once I'm married. Alright, I'll take you on a date if you win a duel. I, I mean... You can go on dates with your husband or something at that time. What? What, what, you don't like it? Decision making AI. Because they don't trust Gwell to handle it. <laughs> They're putting on autopilot. <laughs> Bitch, shut your boy ass down. <laughs> Oh my god. And he's pushing hard. I mean, the only one with the childish pride here. Like father, like son, to be honest. But it's important for him to look good too. Because everything here is decided by duels. No, it's not a flashback. Okay, no, no, no. She's at school. I thought... Yeah, what is a witch? So it was the mom. Because we saw her arm, you know, get... She, she used it as like a point of the argument in the previous episode. But I was like... Coincidence or is that her mom? Her hair color changed, right? Okay, what's up, dude? And we're, we're, we're too busy dueling the king here. I We already beat you, get out of here. <laughs> really? <laughs> I already won. I know, but when you say it like that, it's a backhanded comment. <laughs> oh, thank God, it's you again. Maybe we're gonna start empathizing with Gwell. Maybe we've seen how his dad treats him. Maybe this is gonna be a sad backstory, and then we're like, oh no, Quell, I was so mean to you. We'll see. <laughs> That's right, how did, bump how did these country bumpkins have money to make this Gundam suits, man? Like, what do you mean? <laughs> that was such a funny argument. Miori <laughs> Hmm. Ashatik is being told to investigate into. Suleta, he just stares at Miurine instead. What's Shattuck's plan? I think Shattuck is gonna be on the good side. Or at least maybe neutral. Oh, it's him! Okay, this is the other guy I'm talking about! So, the main guy ship, right? And then the main girl ship with Miurine. But I'm looking too deep into things. Like, I don't think he actually has any feelings of, like, romance for Suleta. It's just how he was feeding her, you know, like... Because he only cares about the Gundam tech. And he specifically said, I'll never fall in love ever again. Or like, I can't afford to. Or what did he say? I think he just said, I'll never fall in love. Oh. Hey, that's a one on the bucket list. 
Uh, eat, go on a date, eat on the roof. Uh, you, Ellen and uh, Suleta. Uh, you want to go on a date then, or? <laughs> but he has such a deadpan face. Wait, did I get something wrong? We're dueling Delling. It's not like Guel is dueling on behalf of Delling, right? Right? This is just a duel before that, right? Who is this? Sounds like she's jeering him on. Oh? Oh? She's kind of shitting on him. Cecilia. Cecilia. She seems pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's so... She's so PM. Huh? You don't want them to fight? Laughing at someone who doesn't run away. Another line, probably for mom. I really think Gwell's gonna have a redemption arc, dude. Oh, dude, it's gonna be so good if it's an actual redemption arc. Because I actually feel for him. Like, he has such a... Even though his family's super elite, he's, like, propped into this position because of his dad. And he has... He's, like, trying so hard. He doesn't talk back to the dad either. She's just... Problem child. Some for some reason kind of reminds me of Damien from Spike's family right now. You gained two. Miurina already took on that line. Maybe Guel's gonna keep saying it too. It'd be cool if Guel says it in the future episodes though. And at that moment we'll know. Okay, okay. It's a redemption arc. There you go again! A good parent, not, not like my dad. Again, they're trying... We're going for the empathy route. So like... The previous duel was voided because we used Ariel. But we're having the duel again with Ariel. It, huh? Oh, it's some kind of line you have to say before the duel. I remember it was a pretty long line. Victory is never decided by mobile suit performance alone, nor by the skill of the pilot alone. The result itself is the only truth. Sounds like something Dellen would make up. Saying. It doesn't matter how you get there. Only thing matters is the results. Pretty much. Luck, skill, I don't give a shit. Whoever wins, wins. Just show me results. Is it the AI taking over? I think it is. There is pretty much no point for Well to be even in the suit then. You might as not even have a pilot if you have an AI that can just, you know, operate the mobile suit on its own. And he dodges because of the AI? Huh? I didn't use that move. You already lost a couple times then, huh? He didn't deflect it. The AI did. Generation 5, by the way. AI. This is kind of cheap, though. Like, we can't do anything now. Soleta, use your... Yeah, he doesn't even need to. Exactly. There's no point for you to be in here, right? Just... Does he even need to be in here? Why don't he just, like, sit out? Just dangerous his life? For no reason? Oh. Why did it dissipate? The brain? The huh? Beam weapons get degraded by what? Oh. Beams can be countered like that? The fuck? <laughs> the, the dad was planning on the weather the entire time. It's crazy to me that beams are just, you know, voided through rain, but okay. You really are. What is a witch though? They've been saying witch, witch, witch. I mean, the episode is the anime series is called The Witch for Mercury. Apparently, witches are supposed to look like a certain type. Like, uh, she's okay, okay, okay. I'll hang on, I'll hang on, I'll hang on. But hello, what is she? Oh, okay, we found the people controlling the weather. Okay, gotcha. Turn the weather off, and turn the rain off. Turn the rain off. All right, there we go. Okay, we can use our lasers again. Let's go. Okay, we're doing the super OP thing again. So those things all like come apart and they all shoot individual lasers. It's too many to manage. But the AI is keeping up. <laughs> he gambled everything. <laughs> he gambled on Celeste. 8.621. Yo, the payout's gonna be huge. Surprised they wouldn't bet on Suleta again considering she won in the first duel. You're done already? Anytime those like extra drone lasers come up. 
Do you look at the look at the state of our mobile suit, man? Yes, yes. Not only is your suit, you know, because you're just appointment, just like your father. Hold up, that's me. The result is all that matters. But to Guel, it's not about that. The fact that his own family doesn't have faith in him, his younger brother, his father. Yo, this is really turning into a Guel redemption arc. I hope he turns his back on him. That's all you have to do, just punch the system. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna have a. Now it makes you feel like Guel needs to win. Without the help of the AI or the rain. Because for the story aspect, if he wins like this, it looks pretty good on his part. And his dad will be acknowledge him too. Shit, I'm supposed to be cheering for Suleta, but somehow I'm like rooting for Quell now. It's on my wish list. She needs to go on that date. I think we won? We got the blade antenna off, right? Okay, okay. So this is a good outcome because while Suleta also still wins, Guel was able to show at the end that she he like defied his father and also, you know, he operated on, his, on himself. And Suleta still gave him credit saying, wow, this is different. You're, I mean, did she say you're much better now? But I think this is a pretty decent outcome. You know, in the beginning, I really didn't like this guy, but now I'm really warming up to him. I actually feel bad for him in the situation he's in. And like, it's the perfect way to have character development. Show an arrogant douchebag that you don't really know much about, then you start empathizing with him, and then he actually turns into a good person. Look, look at this. Oh, whoa, whoa. What are you proposing? What are you? Hey? What do you mean, will you? Huh? <laughs> Yo, this is too fast for the reduction arc. I was hyping you. <laughs> Yo, he's falling for her. Actually, I, 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 at the end, his eyes seemed very sincere. He seemed very genuine. All that lighting, and his like the tone of his voice. Yo, he went from shitting on the country bumpkin into proposing her in the span of three episodes. <laughs> Oh no, I said that Eran, you know, the long-haired, um, dead-faced guy might be like a main guy ship, but Quell's coming out of fucking nowhere. And Suleta just taking it. I, I, so many choices, so many choices. Hey, maybe we'll actually go on a date with Quill. Yo, honestly, I'm kind of down. I, I really, it, I, it's not, it's probably not a good analogy or a comparison. Kind of gives me... Zuko vibes because of the father complex and him, you know, being such an angry, like an upset person and like a douchebag. And then he's already matured this span of three episodes. I guess an avatar took like fucking like three books or something. Fantastic, fantastic development. I can't wait to see what happens next. But hey, if you stick around this long and if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm gonna say. Check out the other videos and plays to my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps you to go push that mouse to my channel to recommend it so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.